even if we agree that Bitcoin is better money, it comes at a cost, Bitcoin's use of energy. How do you think about that? I mean, I think about it a lot. Um, and I think that, you know, if people take nothing away from our conversation, I hope they take this part away about how I think about Bitcoin's use of energy. Um, let's start with some facts, okay? Bitcoin consumes a ton of energy. The, the amount of energy that Bitcoin consumes, you can think about it as the sum of all the mining equipment in the world. And there's no, you know, there's no central registry for, for mining equipment, so we don't really know exactly, but I think an excellent estimate is about 10 million humans worth of energy. So it's enormous. And in a warming world, how can this be good? Well, let's set some context. Like what is the problem of energy? What are we solving? It's never been at scarcity. We can produce tons and tons of energy. It's always been our ability to channel the energy geographically. That means to move it where it's needed most. And before Bitcoin, that was always where humans lived. We needed to move the energy to where humans lived. But Bitcoin's mining energy, it's just solving a different problem. It's solving a math problem, not a transportation problem. And because of satellites and wireless internet connections, a math problem can be solved anywhere. So Bitcoin mining can be located anywhere. And you know, the long-term implications of this, I think, are, are, are world-changing. So, so for example, Bitcoin can make monetizable, isolated, energy sources all over the all over the world. I mean, think about waterfalls or running rivers, or we can create dams in places that are, you know, now entirely untapped because they would be cost prohibitive to move that energy to the electric grid near where residential or commercial uses would be possible. It's just it's just cost prohibitive. So here's the key insight. As Bitcoin's price rises, it's high enough now, but as it continues to rise, Bitcoin mining will be the most profitable use of energy in human history that does not need to be located near human settlement to operate. That's a big deal. Bitcoin is going to fundamentally change the economics of energy. And that's because with Bitcoin mining, we've got a highly profitable use of energy that's location independent. We've never had a highly profitable use of energy that was location independent. Now, now we do. And since fossil fuels, they're already too expensive for Bitcoin mining. Um, I think the only, I, mean, I think confidently, the only long-term profitable Bitcoin mining will be powered by clean energy. So, so imagine a future, just, just imagine, where Bitcoin mining firms, unsubsidized, and I think that's key, are in extraordinarily isolated locations. I don't know, let's visualize a, a waterfall, powerful waterfall in a population-free part of an African country that's destitute, people living in abject poverty, and we can easily connect that waterfall to the Bitcoin network. We can build the energy infrastructure to monetize the local clean energy source for Bitcoin mining. But once we've got the infrastructure, let's extend it. Let's build roads, let's build houses, let's build schools, let's build, let's build, let's build human settlement. Let's move humans there. And I think the net result will be more and more of humanity clustering around cheap, and cheap is key, clean, clean is key too, energy sources. Historically, our challenge with energy has been to move the power to the people. Bitcoin will allow us to move the people to the power. Now you think about the world's major population centers. I'm in New York, you're in Miami, think about Tokyo or, or Paris or London. They developed where they are geographically because of natural seaports or trade routes or waterways, waterways, the placement of those cities had nothing to do with energy because they were all pre-energy, right? They were all pre-fossil fuels. With more and more of the world's population now able in the future with Bitcoin to congregate around abundant energy, and this is the key with extraordinarily low marginal costs of production, that's the part that matters because cheap energy in the matter of form equals human flourishing. That, that's an equation. Cheap energy equals human flourishing. And we can, we can sign all the climate accords we want. We can add our name to anything. We can, we can virtue signal whatever we want. Sign them all, right? They're all irrelevant. They've been irrelevant. They will be irrelevant. What's relevant is this. Because when you have people with a profit motive, and for the first time ever, we have a huge pull towards clean energy with a profit motive, that's when things change. So, 
from my perspective, beyond the, the revolution in monetary policy that Bitcoin already represents, Bitcoin also represents the biggest catalyst the world has ever known for the development of abundant, clean, cheap energy. And therefore, you know, one of the biggest catalysts the world has ever known for human flourishing. It's going to take a decade or two, but that's one of the things that Bitcoin can do. You know, I never really thought about it that way before. It's really pretty amazing. I mean, manufacturing money from clean energy sounds like a better idea than manufacturing aluminum from clean energy. A little bit. A little and bit. You got to imagine there's a lot of countries in the world that have shut in stranded energy and they have, and, and we know you can't move electricity more than 500 miles. So if you could actually literally make money off of, stranded energy you could you can tap into your natural resources in order to move into the 21st century i think it's fascinating yeah yeah may take a decade or two to realize the vision but you know given the way uh the economics of mining works especially as bitcoin's price rises i think the energy vision makes perfect sense it's and it's inevitable okay so